production pack of the red, the red one camera. Part of the red, the heart of the red one uh, premium production pack is this center plate right here. And basically, what you do is you bolt your camera in from the four, four, four twenty screws from either side, and you build your cage off of that. So you can expand it by like rear or forward or up, and make it as strong as you want or as lightweight as possible. My first part of the uh, of the premium production pack is this bottom plate right here. What we've done is we've integra integrated a riser plate for the whole thing and the shoulder mount that locks in dirt, dirt, uh, with this locking mechanism here. The shoulder pads right here, it's made out of rubber. Um, you've got two pieces, two uh, two threaded inserts right here. Uh, they're 3 and 16 that can mount into heads and tripods. So what that does is that gives you the ability to move from a tripod head to the shoulder yeah, it's kind of like mounted mounted work very easy. So from there, as we go, we use a set of standard 19 millimeter rods for all of our software. So if any, if you have anything that works with standard uh, 18 or 19 millimeter rods, you can use it. And if map boxes, follow focuses, they all work. Um, so what we also give is we give a 15 millimeter studio adapter. So if you have 15 millimeter lightweight rods, then you can use all of your map boxes and follow focuses for that also. Um, so. The, basically, our entire system is based on modularity and flexibility for the user. So our, most of our system is based off this one piece right here. And this piece is a modular piece, a universal mounting plate, mounting bracket that slides back and forth on 19 millimeter rods. It pinches with compression around the rods and, and locks it in place. Now, as we go through this, I'm going to show you the different ways that you can mount to this bracket and, and uh, utilize some of the features. The first feature up front we see is we see a set of, uh, set of handlebars. Basically, all these handlebars are, are single hand adjustable, and the hardware that you see here that's quarter 20 will all be replaced with uh, quick, quick release wing nuts in the future. So, everything will be single hand, single hand operational. So, each one of these things can be taken off, and this, this, they also uh, fit on 19 millimeter rails. So these can be taken off, and they can be put on the rails forward like that. So if you want a single-handed operation, running gun type feel. So that's the one way. Of, that's that's one spot. Also, this 15 millimeter adapter also bolts you up into that universal mount. Now, if we go around to the back, what we see is we see our red drive, and the way that this red drive fits in is you have a set of a series of thumb screws and as you open and close the set, you loosen up the thumb screws the drive slides on a set of rails and you can slide it in and out tighten up the thumb screws the drive is steady as a rock so from there the idea behind this cage is balance so when we're thinking about a camera no matter how heavy or light your camera is you want it to be balanced on your shoulder the first opportunity to adjust balance with the red one premium production pack is with this right here, is with, is, with the, is with the sliding dovetail plug. So you adjust it forward and back to get a balance and get the center of gravity on your camera correct. The second area that you have to do, to do with the balance is this area right here. This, um, this is the, uh, the red drive harness. So what we did here is we have two bolts right here, which eventually we hand tighten the bolts just like the front handles. And what they do is they compress on a set of nylon washers. So in compressing, what they do is they allow, they allow you to move this, but it still stays stiff. So what you can do is you can create a counterbalance for your camera and a large lens if you need to. So this, this piece here hinges around. It can hinge down and out of the way of the controls of the camera here, like you can see right here. You can, you can, screw, you can pull this down like that. Um, if you want, instead, if you're used to using the, the controls on the EVF and that's how you want to use your user interface, you can move this up and create more of a, more of a compact feel and more of a compact package. Now, also with the, like I said before, this is on. This uses our universal mounting bracket. Our universal mounting brackets also float on the top of the, the top rail portion of the rail. So you can take this entire assembly and mount it on the top of the camera if you want to have a more low profile, low profile back piece. So this whole whole piece can come down, and it can come become extremely low profile, pop up, 
and uh, onto the top of the camera. So also if you look at our back rail plate, what you can see, and there's a multiple of screws in, in, on the screw holes in the back and mounting points. What that allows for is that allows you to use multiple plates from different manufacturers on our cage system. So you can use our, 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 uh, our red V-lock bracket. Um, you can also use an IDX plate, an Anton Bauer plate, or a blue shape back. So each one of those, we're trying to give you flexibility for you to use whatever type of power source you need to get the job done. Um, from here, we move to the top handle. And the top handle is, is a fully adjustable handle. So we wanted to make it big and burly so it can, can, it can hold whatever you need to do. So basically the way this works is, on a, is, on, is with a pin and a bracket. Right now we were using a cotter pin to go in there and lock it. In production this is going to be a thumb, this will be a thumb depressor. So basically it'll have a set of balls in here that when you press that when you press the back of this, the balls will retract and lock. So you lock it in super easy. And say you have a say you have a really long lens that's going to project way out the front. What you do is you pull this out, pull this forward, and what you have is you have a much better center of balance and center of gravity for your whole system. So if you're doing low running shots or just carrying the camera in general, it's much better. So the other thing that we wanted to do with this is we make this so you can actually, these are these are 3816 pass-throughs. So if you have any machinists out there that like to machine things for their cameras, what you can do is you can you can make 3816 pass-throughs to bolt pieces of metal and make any types of hardware you want to mount on the top of the cage also. So from there we, we're going to move on to the handle system, what we like to call the red cage. Now, currently in cinematography, there's two main ways that you can physically interact with your, with your camera. There's a top handle, and you have a rear handle that you can use for your, for your rotation. Red is trying to change that, and it's trying to drastically evolve the way that you treat the way that you treat your camera and interact with your camera. When you watch people interacting with the red camera first thing that you notice is they grab for a handle to try and anchor their body. They try to anchor their body to the object that they're, that they're, that they're using. So we want to make it so no matter which way someone um, comes up to the camera and actually tries to, tries to touch it, we want to allow them a nice secure point to be able to move and interact with them. So no matter what it is, you can see this guy is just intuitively touching the camera. In most, most cameras, there's not handles, there isn't a handle there to touch. But what he feels is he's using it to help him tan and pull back to pan and tilt the camera. So you feel that's, that's a good thing. So also what it allows you to do is you can, you can grab the, these handles and you can manipulate the camera from any direction, anywhere around the camera. Up in front of the camera, the image plane, and talking to someone at the set, and you're looking at the EVF, and you can guide the camera from the side. And it's much easier and just a much nicer way of going through the world. And uh, also, all these things, guys, we can't have you put them on the shoulder. Um, but yeah, so basically, from here, what goes on is we also have a, new, a, a red arm. The red arm works off a very simple concept where basically you tighten down this screw or you loosen up this screw and it becomes completely flexible with a, a, a spherical 100, 360 degrees. So you can literally put, you can literally mount something in any direction that you want. You tighten this thing up and the, and the more torque that you put on this, the more, the more that it tightens up. So if you keep torquing on this thing, this thing is steady as a rock and won't move. So we use this red arm, right, red arm on both our LCD and our EVF. And as you can see, all the all the hardware on, on the red premium production pack is three is uh, three and sixteen or a quarter twenty. So that you can all the bolts it makes it very easy for you to get things at your hardware store or anywhere just around Home Depot or anything you can do makes it very easy on the consumer. And also we have a lot of every every insert or threaded hole we have is 3816 or quarter twenty. It also makes it so you can mount all the industry standard hardware. These handles on the side, uh, in, di in addition of being a, just a, uh, a handle to grip on, they become they become bumpers. So if you're handling the camera, they can they sit on. If you're sitting on the camp on the, on the ground, this rubber is what's contacting the ground, and it, it just provides a bumper, so no metal or any part of your camera is actually ever contacting the ground. 
Also, in addition to that, these handles unbolt from the top and bottom and can, be, and can come out and you can also put an additional accessory plate in there with threaded 3816 and quarter 20 holes. So if you want to mount mics or lights or anything like that, you have that option.